Hi everyone, it's Mary Jo from Enchantress Tarot. Welcome back to my channel. I'm here to do your solar return for Virgo 2023. I'm back. I have been very busy and working on health and other family issues. I'm probably only going to be doing one video either a month or a year for each sign. I'm still doing readings, so you can still contact me for that and email me if you have a question. Just don't give me any more information and I will answer that as a free reading for you. But here we go with your solar return. So your solar return you can feel about six weeks to three months prior to the moment that the sun comes back to the exact moment that your uh, soul jumped in from the void. So if you were born at 823, on September 1st, when the sun comes back to that exact moment, it begins your solar return. So some people feel that time, six weeks prior or three months prior for some people, will feel that energy is shifting and changing. So during that time, you might seem things are more profound or things are going better for you or there's just a very different change of energy that you can sense in your body. You know, like certain times of the year, you can smell in the atmosphere a change, like, you know, autumn is coming or winter or summer or spring. You know, it depends on your type of um, receptivity, okay, and your biorhythms. But when you can start to feel or smell this is your change or time and uh, energy, then you know that you're feeling this change and have access to it. So when we look at your cards as a Virgo, uh, I've done this many in the past. You could go back to my older videos when I did uh, in-depth of that sign and you could see your cards for the Tarot. So you have two major arcana that represent Virgo two court cards that represent Virgo, and three number cards or minor arcana that represent Virgo. Now, your mantra is, I analyze, okay? So you look for long-term. You're, the, to me, the chess players of astrology. You calculate every move before it happens and you look for the outcome. You know, you, you are kind of uh, worry warts at times. You know, your nervous system is affected by that. And um, you can over obsess over things like you want to fix everything you want to work on every problem for everybody you see the negative in it to fix it fix it fix it. you're always thinking of something to fix it's a lot of stress but you do look at long-term planning where you want to make practical logical choices and have outcomes that serve you in the highest way there's nothing wrong with that it's just about balancing that especially since Mercury does rule Virgo as it does rule Gemini, okay? So your cards from the main, major arcana are the magician, okay? The magician is the first person the fool meets on their journey, okay? And this is Mercury. Mercury does rule, as I said, Virgo and Gemini. So this is about bringing things into being, manifesting, okay? Really grounding your energy between universe and matter. Okay. Then we also have the hermit, number nine. Now the hermit is about contemplation, retreating, healing, very much sixth house, right? Virgo, sixth house, daily routines, and health. So it's like where you sit in your house to pay your bills, okay? That's your daily routine, little mundane things, and your medicine cabinet. You know, where all your health things are. Um, many people say also that Virgos on the lower vibrations are somewhat of a hypochondriac. You know, that they're always looking at the worst of like if they're sick and looking for a cure for everyone. But there's nothing wrong with that because there could be some very sound uh, answers coming out of that to help people. But we know that the Hermit is about uh, retreating from things that are going on in the world when they've had enough and doing some introspective work. And then when they're ready, they come back out, healed or at least grounded, especially earth sign, right? Then we have your um, court cards. Now, the queen of swords is representing uh, Virgo. That would be um, your 
your third decan, we've talked about there are 30 days, right? In each of the signs. And every 10 days is a decan. So you could have been born in the first decan or the second decan or the third decan of Virgo. So when we look at the Queen of Swords, she represents the third decan of Virgo, the last 10 days. So that would be your uh, end of September, right? To October 12th. So like the 28th or 30th to the 12th. Yeah, maybe like 28th. So that would be the card that represents that 10 days for you. And then we have the Knight of Pentacles. And that would be your first and second decans, the first 10 and second 10 days of Virgo. So that would bring you from August 22nd, 21st, when it starts to about September 11th. And that would represent your 10 days. Now, a lot of readers in the tarot will pull a signifier card and they will pull the card for the birth date that you have and use that at the top and then read around that. Now, your minor arcana or the little secrets, the number cards would be the eight, nine, and 10 of pentacles. So, you know, the pentacles, they represent your sign. It's an earth sign. It's, yeah, it's definitely health and wealth, but for me, it's knowledge and being grounded. Also, how you make your coins, right? The things that you do to bring uh, money into your life, education into your life, because for me, it's that knowledge and also healing and grounding stability. So, these are the cards that do represent you. So, I hope that uh, if you do have readings, or even if you're watching these readings on social media, and you're, you're doing your own Virgo sun, or if you're doing the moon, or if you're doing the ascendant, and even the north node, okay, which is that true north that you're being pulled to in this lifetime, and you see any of these cards come up, they're directly speaking to you as a Virgoin, and honing in even on your birth date so you can know that universe is really talking to you so let me move this over a little so let's see what we have for you through your solar return some astrologers believe the solar return starts the first of the year others believe that it does start um within six weeks to three months of the person's birthday okay let's see what we got okay we start off with a bang we have the tower. A lot of people freak out with the tower. I don't, but I do have an Aries sun. So this is my card. This would represent Mars. Um, when we look at this card in this beautiful Ulan deck, so we see all this water raging here, tumultuous water, emotions, right? But we see this solid fortress here surrounding the tower. Now, this deck is very different than this standard rider weight where it shows the enlightening bolt hitting the tower and the, the men falling from the tower there. Like the high and mighty got knocked off their high horse. It's, a, it's an enlightenment. It's a shocking truth. It is... It's a time in your life when some thing that's going on has been emotional for you because we're reading this card okay not what the tower looks like in other cards and and you maybe you know what's going on but you don't you don't want to deal with this you don't know how to deal with it um you're afraid of what to do you don't know what to do or you feel helpless when this card comes up for me it means that universe is taking care of your situation, Virgo. And it is an enlightening situation for you. And the ego, ignorance, or arrogance of the person involved in this, it's like they come tumbling to the ground. You didn't do anything, okay? This is universe coming in and sending this washing away of the situation. This person's situation, a thing, didn't have a solid foundation with you. You may have thought they did, or at one time they did, and it's changing. It's going to come crumbling down. Um, 
because it wasn't built on a strong or solid foundation, even though you look like it was. Um, and it, with this card, let's look at it as it is. It did feel like it was very solid, but emotions are raging now with you. It's tumultuous going around you. Now the tower stands strong. We don't see that this tower is coming down and we don't see that things are being washed away like the typical tower does. So I'm feeling with this card, there will be something coming to clear away this emotional turmoil that you've been going through. The mighty will fall. Wherever you have been abused or neglected or not treated well, it's going to wash away. And the foundation that you have built, that you found to be truth, will still stand, Virgo. Okay? While everything else will be washed away beneath your feet, you will be on solid ground. You are still very well protected. And of course, you have created this tower of stability, this rock. Okay? But at least now, with this enlightenment, you see it for what it is. And you are, you are going to recover while this all washes away. You'll feel this pulling away of these emotions, this healing going on. And when it is over, you will still have this solid, grounded you, but the emotions will be in check and in balance. It's very difficult for Virgo in, or when you have people with the earth and air signs, emotions are not their, their strong suit, okay? They're like level-headed, or they like to be in their um, balanced, logical, methodical, mind and not feeling these things. It's uncomfortable for them. So this is an uncomfortable time that's going to be washed away for you, which I'm glad for you. Okay. Now you have the five of pentacles. All right, we have an earth sign. Now we know the five is instability, right? The single most dynamic number of all the single digits. The five shaped like this, it's open to the back, open to the front, it sits on a rocker. So you could say, well, the, it's the past. I can't go there anymore, but I could view it. I just don't live there. The top of the five is open to the future. You're not there yet, but you could look to it to plan. But that rocker, that represents the now. This is about you being in the now. So you've been worrying about something. Again, not a very comfortable thing for a Virgo in. Now, when we look at the five of pentacles, we're saying, okay, oh, am I going to have enough money? I can't. You know, I have to stay in and keep working, keep working. I might need a second job. I don't have money to pay for all these bills. Um, oh, I'm not going to get better. Uh, I'm feeling worse and worse every day. The medicine's not going to help and there's nothing to help me. You see, this is all the negative chitter chatter that is so unhealthy for everyone. And especially someone mercurial like yourself, where you're in your head and you're thinking all these negative things. You're bringing them into being because the universe reverberates back that what we put forth. So with that being said, look at this five of pentacles, which is Mercury and Taurus. Okay, Taurus is second house, also earth sign. It's money, love, core values, finances, beauty. Okay, so you're starting to worry about all these things with that mercurial energy. Um, and it could represent April 21st to 30th. So maybe that's when it started for you. But I, I must tell you that spirit is here to guide you. That's what this window stained glass represents and this strong column, which is re really reminiscent here. We, we have this solid rock, this column there, like you stand tall like a rock, Virgo, and this wishy-washy stuff isn't healthy for you. So please don't, this is temporary and it shall pass. Uh, change the way you're thinking about this. Uh, you can have your pity party and then reevaluate, okay? And saying, everything's going to be all right. I trust in the universe. And you don't always have to analyze and plan things out because you are limited in form, okay? Spirit in the infinite wisdom can rearrange people, places, and things for you. So you don't have to worry about how. Just put it out there that you want it done and trust in the universe that it will come to pass. Okay, so that is temporary. Oh, another, well, look at this. Okay, so we got one of your cards. We got the Eight of Pentacles, right? Mirroring this. Okay, so you, you feel like, um, let me just shut this. I'm sorry. I thought I did. You feel like you've been working very hard here. 
and you know you have a strong foothold of some stuff here you know you, but there's so much more potential you feel like you haven't realized with all the work you're doing it's just like it, the work is just piling up okay it looks to me like a stack of papers I don't know if people still even use papers anymore, but stacks and stacks of papers here building up. This is August 23rd to September 1st. So we're like right now with the sun in Virgo. So I'm saying like you're toiling away at this job. And all it is is just bringing you more work. And of course, you don't want to see it for what it is, right? And this could be part of the emotional turmoil you're going through here. No matter how hard you work at this, it's just always going to be more work. And it's really not paying off for you. And I'm not going to say financially because it may not be financially paying off for you. I'm looking at it as even if it is, it's not paying off for your health and well-being. It's draining the life energy from you. It's wearing you down. Okay? And it is not going to get better for you in, in other readings this card would represent an opportunity coming but for you I, I really feel like you're just toiling away for nothing oh kitty and um things are not going to get better in this situation you're just going to keep working and they're just going to keep adding more and more to the pile now, if this is a person in your life or another situation not just work or your health not getting better, or what you're trying and working at isn't working, you need to find another a health regimen, um, check with a different doctor, maybe a homeopath, you know, or maybe do acupuncture, acupressure, be open to these other things, especially as a Virgo one, okay, you're all about that healing. Um, so, you know, you will be able to find another way. And if it's a person or situation, that's all it is, is you just keep working and toiling for them and all they just keep giving you is more work and more aggravation. And it all comes to this card here with the tower of things uh, clearing away for you because it is draining you. How beautiful, look, I got another major here, but this is nice because the star is healing energy. And when we have the star, it's saying have hope and keep wishing on your star. If you don't really want it, it's not going to come to pass because your energy will drop. But if you keep wishing and hoping and wanting, you know, even like I said, you fall off the horse and have your little uh, pity party, get back on there and refocus. The star is a card for healing. The star represents you offering up the, the soul offers up the ego, okay, for healing. It's a cleansing. It's about you reconnecting spiritually all right because especially earth right you're just so grounded it's earth it's work it's material things it's just trudging along with the star it's a beautiful card and it's help is on the way and healing is on the way for you which is important especially like i said virgo is sixth house and it is health uh so do have faith that everything will come to pass for you uh but you have to concentrate on this too you're letting things distract you you the things that you think are therapeutic are the things that are wrecking you you think this escape is helping me, you know, this, uh, this work or this exercise. Maybe you're overdoing it and you're not getting what you need out of it. It's just taking more of what you need and you keep thinking you're going to get it done. You're just getting worse and going in a circle with this person or, or job or situation, your health, your, your education. Here with the star, it's saying, we know what you're going through. Just know that we're here. Ask us to help you. Don't worry about how. Just ask us for what you're wishing for and we'll bring it to you. This is reconnecting. Earth and spirit, right? And the other decks, her foot is in the water and one's on the earth. So it's the spiritual world and the earthly planes coming into a flow. You can't always be of the earth. You can't always be of the spirit. There is a balance that must be maintained. And if not, chaos will happen and there's a beautiful order to chaos where it brings into the balance that which was not there oh nice three of cups celebrate happy times happy happy joy joy now this is good emotions we have a full moon so things will be released and things will be better um you will be surrounded by people that doesn't have to be all women this could be men women it doesn't matter it's androgynous in the tarot and you do feel a time of joy and celebration for the time that it is or however long it will last, it is. 
and we want to enjoy that. Now, it could be something that started already. Maybe you had a wedding or you had a beautiful vacation somewhere. I mean, this could go back to July 2nd through the 11th. And again, Mercury. Mercury in Cancer. Mercury rules your sign, Virgo, and also Gemini. And in Cancer, we know it's beautiful feeling, emotions, love. It's your inner strengths from your early environment, your ancestry, your family, mother, or whoever is the mother figure in your life, how you love and are a mother or love and nurture other people, even if you're a man, doesn't matter. So we're talking about three being the choice that you made and the results of the choice that you made will be celebrated and joyful. So maybe, uh, and I do hope and pray that this and the lightning bolt will come to play with you and you're going to stop worrying about this and realize how this person, place, or situation thing is draining you of your energy and not grounding you and you redirect your energy to some sort of a healing and um, lessening of the earthly things and more of what your soul needs, and you come to celebrate this. So this definitely could represent like a wedding, um, a beautiful vacation, a graduation, uh, a retirement, you know, a birth of a child, announcement of a wedding, an engagement. Yeah, this is all happy, joyous things, and you will be celebrating and you'll be celebrating with others. Let me see, beautiful skies, clear skies, green fertile ground. Yes, this is a time of things going very well for you. Now, it could have started in July, um, and that would be within your solar return frame too. And if it doesn't resonate with the time frame, no matter there, um, let's see. Yeah, nine months out is when my readings go. It even could be something that would be coming into the next year. Okay, Queen of Cups. Mature energy, male or female, okay? This could definitely be your Cancerian, Scorpion, or Piscean, male or female. Um, this person does like being around the water or aquatics. You know, they maybe like to swim, boating, fishing, jet skiing. Just lying around the beach or being around water that like a lake or a river okay this is their conduit for them this person usually breeds life into ideas they are creative they are healing this person could be in the medical field or they could be a beautician they could be a florist very creative person and what they do is of service to others to help people now, you may not know who this person is. They could be like a mother-mother figure, father-father figure, but uh, they are definitely someone who's older. For me, 45, 50, older. Life experiences. Now, look at she sitting amongst these raging waters, just like going back to here, right? But she's a rock, just like this tower. She is not encumbered by these waves and rushing emotions. She's calm, cool, and collected. Oh, she can go, but when she goes, it's like a breakdown, you know, and, and she lets it all rage out. But otherwise, you know, she keeps it together pretty well. So if this is someone in your life that you can resonate with, they are going to be someone who's celebrating with you or even guiding you through this situation. Now, this could be a fellow worker, a family member. It could be a therapist. You know, it doesn't have to necessarily be someone you even realize right now. They could be coming into influencing this situation for you, but they are going to bring the calm from the storm for you. And you know what? It could even be in the time of Scorpio since that is our next water sign. So that would not be too far from now. Uh, as we look at Scorpio, which start around like uh, the 22nd, 23rd, of um october into november like 22nd 23rd let's see so we got one two three four five six last card beautiful oh my gosh how beautiful now the two of cups is a beautiful card of interplay this is a person uh that you see eye to eye with they get you you know they are like that warm hug or deep hug that you could just let yourself go on and hang on them you know what, uh, this is a person who brings great pleasure into your life, the things that you can't buy. I feel loved, I feel appreciated, I feel valued, I feel cared for, I feel cared about. 
Uh, it's truly a blessing. And the two is that dichotomy. So it's either you and something else, you and someone else. And again, it's another beautiful card because we look at, again, with this Cancerian energy for you. Now we have this Venus in Cancer, which is very lovely, okay? Um, <clears throat> so Venus is beautification, love, like I said, uh, core values, money, <clears throat> how you value yourself. And then Cancer, again, is that loving energy of mother, early environment, your ancestry, you know, your strengths at home, how you love, how you're loved. And when you have this kind of energy, this also could have started again, end of June into July, or will be coming for you uh, at toward the end of your solar return for next year. Uh, this is you definitely, you finding a soulmate in your situation. It doesn't mean that you have to be lovers. A soulmate could be a child, a relative, uh, a coworker. Yes, it could be your partner in life, in business, or in love. But this is just someone that is that strong, comfortable hug in your life. You know, that they don't care about filling your cup with what they want. They want you to fill your cup with what you want. And they support, love, and value you, whatever that choice is. Okay? So that's beautiful. I mean, you had some stuff going on here in the beginning, but it feels like it's going to work itself out. I mean, again, choices. Um, but I do hope that this does help you and resonates with you. I'm here if you have any questions. So happy birthday, Virgo. Happy solar return. And as always, I wish you the best.